watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Thank you. So I'd like to welcome everyone to the annual sports, uh, spring sports night, which, as always, was hosted by our wonderful athletic boosters. Please give them a round of applause. For, uh, So, as always, we were treated to an amazing spring season. We had, we had dozens of athletes um, recognized by Nassau County for their accolades on the field of play. Uh, we had several teams in the postseason. Uh, I know our girls badminton were conference champions. Boys tennis were conference co-champions. And again, we had a lot of teams in the playoffs. Uh, actually, tonight, boys and girls spring track, they're competing as we speak, and I just got an update that uh, Alex, Alex Cabrera placed third in the discus, so he's with me. And Sebastian Ravishanker placed second in the 800, so he's with me. A lot of really good stuff going on. So, uh, Listen, tonight, again, tonight's a celebration. It's also somewhat of a sad evening because we're saying goodbye to some very special people who have just completed their last season as a Highlander. Of course, our seniors. So please put your hands together for our wonderful seniors. Okay, for the first portion of the program, I will be calling upon our coaching staff. Um, I would like to thank our coaches. They have one of the most difficult jobs in the school district. Their classroom is always open for anyone to walk in and walk out. Please put your hands together for our outstanding coaching staff. And the first coaches I'll be calling to speak are our varsity boys and JV boys tennis coaches, Mr. Ray Cross and Mr. Joe Welsh. County Tennis, and that was Syosset, and we learned a good lesson. It is difficult when you're playing at the top. Um, just a couple of things that happened during the year, some of them tennis related, some of them not. Um, when I go out on the tennis courts with the uh, tennis team, um, there's sometimes a match or a game on the turf field. And I let the, ball, the boys know that they'll be playing the national anthem and to be aware that if they do play it, they should stand facing the flag with the hand of the heart uh, to respect the flag. We were in a, a, a practice session and um, not used to uh, and the, the anthem being played uh, when we're practicing. Normally when we play a game, there's a game on the turf field. Anyhow, there was a game on the turf field, they played the anthem. I was talking to somebody else, not paying attention, and one of our players yelled out, Coach, Coach, it's the anthem. So I jumped in, took off my cap, and I did what I had to do. I just happened to take a look around. 
all the softball players. They're all softball players. All the track people and all the tennis people were in unison, standing there, respecting the American flag. And that's one of my highlights for this season. Just enjoy something like that. Amen, right? Um, we went to the uh, county championships, um, team championships. Uh, we got B, and then they have what they call individual county championships, which we played yesterday. We had five players in the mix, three singles, one double. Um, each one of the boys won a match. Some won two matches. One won three matches. That player um, is sitting over with the tennis players. Samoth, can you stand up? Yes. Samoth had a record this season of 14 wins. One loss, the selected Old County. Tremendous player for this school, played for us. He's a sophomore, so he'll play for us for the next two years. A hand for Samar. Um, the coaches award this year. Picked a player, a senior player, three-year varsity player. He could not be here tonight because of a family emergency. So, on hand uh, to accept his award is uh, one of our co-captains, a hand Mercury. against his teammate, Samoth. So I, I said, I said to uh, Brayden, I said, Brayden, how's the match going? He said, coach, it's going good. He said, it's my honor, my honor to play against Samoth. One of the greatest things I've ever heard from an athlete to another athlete. Thanks. Yeah, we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
this up. It's good to have you guys back in the cafeteria. The girls' golf team had another successful season. And came to the three strokes of qualifying for the playoffs and finished five and five. I'd like to congratulate the following players of qualifying from the county, which took place today. Alyssa Soule, Terry Kim, and Trustee Nadan. Uh, has actually qualified for game number two. So as we speak, she is top 30 at Nassau County and is competing tomorrow. We had one senior this year, Hannah Rams, who decided, decided to give it a shot. Uh, not, not playing any golf before and hopefully picked up a new skill. Uh, the coach of the award this year, I'd like to acknowledge is for a first year player. During the season, something that stuck out to me as I was putting together the roster for one of our matches, I asked her if she was available. Without hesitation, she said yes. And made it a point to say, I want to play in all the matches and have a shot at county. And that is something that any coach appreciates. I think she will have a, sh a shot next year as a junior. The 2023 Coach of the Award goes to Whitney Lenny. track season was filled with personal records, medals, and trying new events. Primarily an underclassman team, we had a rebuilding year with a lot of growth. Tonight, three of our athletes are competing in the county championship meet. Sophomore Vidi Shah, freshman Nia Gajaya, and freshman Brooke Lynn. The team was led by captains and star sprinters Anna Louie and Christina Joseph, who were the glue that held the team together and did a lot of teaching throughout the season. Would like to thank the seniors for their inspiration, dedication, advice, and humor. The coaches award for this season goes to one of the people who have been instrumental in developing team camaraderie. A soft spoken leader who's always found doing the right thing even when no one is watching. She was constantly helping the other members of the team with her down starts, relay handoffs, and anything else they needed help with. All with a smile on her face, never complaining, always willing to do anything for the team. Our coaches and world goes to Captain Christina Joseph. team with a non-complete slate of all playoff opponents, uh, the team fought tight battle after tight battle just falling short early in the year. We lost uh, eight games in the season by a total of 13 goals, so not even a two goal per game margin. However, the team rallied together when they needed to the most, proverbially riding the ship and clinched the top seed in the conference feed playoffs. Um, and featured a home playoff game for the second consecutive year, falling just short of a third consecutive quarterfinals appearance. We say goodbye to seniors, Maddie Capel, right. Joey Cimenti, Lance Yenicle, Joey McKay, Josh Park, and Ryan Barnum. Senior attackman, Joey Cimenti signed a national letter of intent to play NCAA lacrosse at Wingate University. And congratulations to award winners Joey Matei, Jesse Royals, Joey Cimenti, and Riley Royals All-Conference. And Manny Capel, All-County Honorable Mention. 
our 2023 Coaches Award recipient blossomed into the leader we knew uh, he had inside of him just sooner than expected, pretty much the moment uh, the 2022 season turned over and the offseason began. He's a legacy player. His older brother from the class of 2020 uh, was elected captain by his teammates, but unfortunately, he never had a chance to serve due to the cancellation of the spring season that year due to the COVID pandemic. So at least one in his family was able to lead us as our recipient was also a voted captain by his teammates. Uh, our recipient was promoted to varsity as an eighth grader. Um, so he has the unique distinction of actually having played as a teammate with our assistant varsity coach McTiernan. And according to Coach McTiernan's insight, who has had the, pl the pleasure of both playing and coaching our recipient, uh, our recipient has grown up the most out of any Herricks player over that time, transitioning from a player who uh, would always see things for himself to then completely uh, selflessly uh, with the mentality adopting that the team has to come first. Our Coach's Award recipient goes to senior attackman Joey Chimenti. I'd just like to read uh, some brief words from our boys spring, uh, boys spring track coaches because they are competing this evening. Boys spring track and field team had a great season. We finished with a record of 11 and two. The team placed third in the conference and was a runner up at the division two championships. I'd like to acknowledge our senior athletes and thank them for their dedication and leadership to the team. And on a side note, our Herrick's invitation was the largest and longest in Herrick's history, the one that ended at almost 10 o'clock at night. And thank you to the Boosters for being there and selling all the food. We appreciate it. I want to say a few words about the Coaches Award recipient for Boys from Track. This year's Coaches Award goes to a dedicated athlete who worked hard every day. He was at almost every practice trying to improve, not just himself, but his team. He put the team first and always asked what he could do to help the team. He competed in three events in every meet. As an underclassman, he was our top point scorer and set a new sophomore high school jump record of 5 feet 11 inches and set a team record for most points scored in the regular season. Uh, congratulations, Jacob Kim. Jacob is actually competing as we speak, so he's be, he will be receiving his award um, by coach this evening. And at this point in time, I'd like to call upon our girls of course coaching staff, head coach Alexa Riva, assistant coach Emily McLaughlin, and JV coach Abigail Solicito. always planning the best events. Um, tonight is about my coaches award winner. I'll give you the rest of the good season stuff at the end of the year dinner. Um, but tonight is all about her. And this is a kid who I can always count on. She's pretty much my unofficial uh, captain. We even roped her into roughing one of the Herricks Middle School games last week because she's just a good egg and she always does the right thing. Uh, Ava Sanda, stand up. Seven zero, 
And then it just kept happening. The same score almost every game. We knew then that this had to be our year, and it was. Our girls' badminton team ended the season undefeated. They're also conference champions. Even though I'm so proud of every win and every accomplishment, I'd like to recognize our team for the hours they spent practicing in and out of school and for the people that they are on and off the court. Our seniors, Adeline, Chenyang, Wendy, and Bianca, I especially thank all of you for your dedication to the team. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, but more importantly, to be proud of yourselves. And with that, I'd like to extend my gratitude to one particular athlete. The Coaches Award this year belongs to someone who has helped our badminton teams in so many ways. Not only was she the most amazing manager for the boys team, but she pretty much played the same role and more for the girls. She's someone I could always count on to push herself in the game. She always knew exactly what she had to do. She's someone who brought our team together. She made sure everyone knew they were an important part of the team. And she's someone I could not be more grateful for. I'm so happy to honor her tonight. The Coaches Award goes to Tiffany Lee. softball coaching staff head coach Warren Webster, assistant coach Martina Finn, JV coach. Marina Mamsadera. And of course you guys and Sam back there. I want to congratulate uh, our Highlanders for finishing 15 and 5 record in Division 2, Nassau County. Congratulations, Carol. Oh! I also want to thank my seniors this year for their hard work, their dedication, and the memories you leave with us. We have two seniors this year that will represent Eric Softball at the collegiate level. Callie will be playing Division 3 Softball at City New Paul. playing Division One softball at Georgetown. We did get seven girls being acknowledged at the county level. Angeli, our senior scholar athlete. Two old county players, Stephanie and Sophia Pizzicano. Callie is our old county honorable mention. And two all conference award winners, Gabby and Avery. recognized best in division this year and this year's division two pitcher of the year was Madison now the coaches award is given to an athlete who best demonstrates throughout the season the true spirit of her this student athlete and passionate selfless kind and has a fierce competitive edge she goes over and beyond for a team from scouting the opposing teams and communicating the information to her teammates she controls the game for her position by calling and framing every pitch and taking timeouts when it's just needed. This year we held a practice based around her position so she could pass her knowledge to all the other players that played her position. This year's coach's award goes to Hallie Saxon.
One quick announcement, especially for our senior athletes. You know, we have we, we brought back our annual sports banquet, which is being held at the Inn at New High Park on June 7th. You've probably seen the emails I've been sending out. Uh, those of you, I, I hope you all come, but seniors especially, we'd love for you to attend. Just stop by my office, just fill out the reservation form. There's a box in my office, just drop it out. It's a wonderful event. We've been doing it for years. We stopped doing it due to the COVID pandemic. It's back. It's, it's a really great way to celebrate our program. At this time, please sit back. We're going to have a slideshow uh, just with some pictures from the spring season. Congratulations to you all.
raffle tickets out. Everyone get your raffle tickets out. The athletic boosters uh, will be giving out t-shirts. So everyone got your tickets out? All right. Okay, first ticket. Six, six, three, zero, eight, seven. Coaches award winner Harry. Good job, Harry. Okay, next ticket. Here we go. Can you take it out? Six, six, three, zero, eight, two. Six, six, three, zero, eight, two. Six, six, three, zero, eight, two. Anyone? You have to be here to claim it. All right, I'll pick another one. Okay, tickets ready. Six, six, three, one, nine, three. I guess we have a winner. Okay. Six, six, three, one, nine, three. We'll go right up there. Okay, next ticket. There'll be a total of ten winners, by the way. A lot, I know. Six, six, three, one, one, two. Yeah. Do we have a winner? Six, six, three, one, one, two. Okay, we have a winner. Go to the food line. Let's go. Okay, next ticket. Six, six, three, two, one, two. Ashley Katz, good job, Ashley. Go right up there. Over to the food line. That's four down, six to go. Okay, next ticket. Six, six, three, zero, six, seven. Six six three zero six seven. Okay, that's five down, five to go. Okay, next ticket. Six six three zero nine six. Six six three zero nine six. Have to be here to claim it. Last call, six six three zero nine six. You got it? Okay, we have a winner. Six down, four to go. Six, six, three, one, zero, one. Six, six, three, one, zero, one. We have a winner. Okay. Okay, next ticket. Six, six, three. One, six, five. Is that a winner back there with the hat? Okay, good job. We have a winner, six, six, three, one, six, five. Just go right to the food line. Okay, we have two to go. Next ticket, six, six, three, one, nine, six. Okay, before I pull the last ticket, just a reminder, Sports Banquet, June 7th, if you haven't done so, drop off your forms in my office. Please put your hands together for your coaches and for the athletic boosters. Do a great job, well done. Thank you. Last ticket? Okay, this is the last ticket. 
six, six, three. One, two, one. And there's three. You got it. There's the winner. Okay, everyone, I want to wish you all well. Thank you for an amazing spring season. Looking forward to seeing you all at the sports banquet. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you for watching HTN Sports.